The following is an ESG on location video. So this week marks the start of a very busy show season and many of us will be in Vegas a lot over the next few weeks. This is the Hitachi Connect event, not just HDS but Hitachi too and that really is perhaps what's most significant about this event. It brought together partners, a sales conference, the analysts and a lot of conversation about this being Hitachi and its social innovation initiative rather than just HDS and a lot of storage sales. So, you're going to hear from my colleagues, Nick Ruder, Terry McClure, on their thoughts, takeaways, insights from the conference. One of the most interesting things here has been that Hitachi now has a multi-layered message. It starts at the top with social innovation, trying to use technology to better the world, make it a healthier, safer, more efficient place to live. Below that, that's backed up by industry-specific solutions, things like telematics for smarter automobiles, setting up trains to pay per mile of usage rather than paying for the infrastructure entirely up front, or looking at smart cities, how do we do crowd management, how do we pick out dangers as they move using video analytics. Of course, below this is the traditional HDS solutions that you're familiar with, things like the VSP platform, the UCP platform, now joined with a hyperscale out platform for big data. But one thing that was really clear is that big data and analytics is underlying most of these technologies and solutions. Hitachi and HDS have really realigned themselves to make the most of the environment by better understanding all the information that's available. There are something like 60 Hitachi companies here this week. And Hitachi owns everything from the sensor to the compute platforms, to the analytics platforms, to the storage that it, that it lives on. I mean, Hitachi has an end-to-end -end solution that very few companies can talk about. And the way they've tied it up into the social innovation strategy that Nick talked about is really, truly impressive. I think it's going to introduce some challenges for Hitachi as they try to tie this high-level social innovation message down into the product level, but it really changes the competitive landscape for HDS and what they can offer to customers from a solution standpoint um, all the way down to, to their traditional IT uh, messaging. So I'm really excited about Hitachi's future and what they can offer to uh, users should they continue to bring this all the Hitachi companies together and leverage the power of Hitachi as one. So I mentioned before that the technologies are powering big data and analytics through a wide range of use cases. A couple of new partnerships are really coming into play here. One was the recent acquisition of Pentaho where they're able to use that ability to do data integration, data preparation, transformation, and take all these new data sources and combine them and get them ready to do the analytics operations that will give you your insights. In fact, that's tying into their new analytics platform called Live Insight and Hitachi Live Insight will have a number of different flavors. One of the interesting ones is IT operations analytics, which comes through another partnership, this time with Sumo Logic. But they really want to challenge the market to say we can better understand your IT infrastructure, manage it, and get better results by applying, again, big data and analytics to that environment. From a product standpoint, I'm really excited about the cloud story Hitachi can tell. When you start looking at the HCP platform and the cloud consumption and sales model that they have, they offer flexibility that very few companies can regarding you know, how and where data is stored, managed, and controlled. And that gives them a very powerful message in light of some of the geopolitical factors and some of the jurisdictional factors and some of the legal issues that are facing cloud storage today regarding what country has jurisdiction over data depending on where it's stored and, and managed from. So I think, I think Itachi has a very powerful story to tell, and it'll be their challenge to tell it regarding their cloud solutions platform. But uh, I, it's, it's powerful, and I think people should listen. So both Terry and Nick talked about the breadth of this conference and how much is going on with Hitachi beyond just HDS or any of the other component companies of which we were aware before. Funnily enough, early on during some of the general sessions, I was asked, so what does Hitachi stand for? I love words, so I came up with harnessing its technology and creativity for humanity's improvement. Now, I don't know that they're going to take this as a new tagline, but it's genuinely 
what they seem to be focused on. You sense it from the employees, from the senior management from whom we heard. But of course, it's a massive, big vision. And it's interesting what gets subsumed underneath. Just looking at storage, which I cover, so were huge announcements from the traditional HDS side of the business, probably the biggest ones they've ever had. And yet that's just part of the message here. What's more interesting to me and everything you've heard from my colleagues is, how much did you know about this? How much will we know about this? Hitachi is, uh, obviously a Japanese organization where it is, uh, you know, you prove things, you don't go and shout them. Uh, a lot of the world is Western where you shout about things and then prove them. And there's obviously a middle path somewhere. So lots of great vision. There's lots of good manifestation of how that will happen. But telling more of the world so that the company can grow and develop its success is going to be an area that it needs to focus on if it is really to achieve what it wants.